today I'm very excited to introduce you to this beautiful story that will not only help you to relax very deeply and fall asleep but also perhaps will inspire you in your life in the most magical and beautiful ways and today I'm going to take you all the way far far away to the planet of absolute clarity and the reason why I'm taking you there is because when we believe that we need this absolute clarity in our lives what happens is that we procrastinate we postpone and we find ourselves in the waiting place which is a place of there is no aliveness we overthink and we try to strategize and we try to figure it out we try to find this clarity and we are not taking any action and so perhaps today not only that you are going to be relaxed and entertained by this beautiful story but perhaps you will find a little piece of your mind around needing to have this clarity around any situation or topic in your life and if you venture with me to partake in this beautiful story perhaps you will be left happier and more inspired exactly where you are in your life right now and for your comfort and the comfort of your eyes because I know that the blue light especially sometimes keeps you awake and this is a bedtime story so this screen will gradually come to the darkness will be getting darker and darker gradually until you will simply close your eyes completely and get sucked into the storytelling into the whimsical world that lies between this reality and the whimsical reality of metaphors representing your deepest subconscious desires and so today we are going to embark on an adventure with Luna Sterling who is an ordinary woman about to go on an extraordinary adventure and so Luna Sterling in her labyrinth of unfulfilled dreams faced a ticking clock of ambition each unfinished melody and blurred photo a reminder of her race against time her apartment was a mosaic of her many passions cookbooks stacked beside a DSLR camera sheet music fluttering near her laptop a half-written novel minimized on her screen she was a whirlwind of talent and ambition Yet, at this moment, she sat still, entangled in a web of thoughts. Luna has a distinctive, slightly unruly head of curly hair that seems to have a life on its own, mirroring her creative and free-spirited nature. It's often pulled up in a haphazard bun, with tendrils escaping to frame her face adding to her approachable and down-to-earth demeanor. Her expressive eyes, always alight with thought and curiosity, reflect the myriad of colors in her vibrant world, drawing people into her imaginative realm. Her mind was like a crowded street market. She loved to cook with aroma of spices, 
was her companion in solitude. Singing was her escape and her voice a bridge to her soul. In photography, she captured the trans transient beauty of life. Writing was her deepest passion, waving words with worlds or worlds with words. Either way, despite these loves, a paralyzing indecision gripped her. Every hobby called to her, but like a flustered child in a toy store, she couldn't choose which one to turn into a business and a lifelong passion. Her Instagram, a colorful exhibit of her many interests, now felt like a mocking reminder of her scattered focus. The pressure to choose, to excel in one, weighted heavily. She questioned her path every day, overthinking each step until the path blurred completely. Guilt was her constant companion, whispering of wasted potential. She longed for clarity, for a sign pointing unequivocally to her true calling. But life offered no such direction. The ticking of the clock in her silent apartment was a reminder of passing time, of dreams waiting to be chosen and lived. As Luna Sterling lies in her bed, her body begins to relax. Each muscle softening like butter melting under her, under the warm sun. And her toes uncurl releasing the day's wanderings and her feet becoming light as feathers. The relaxation travels upward, turning her legs into serene streams, flowing effortlessly into a sea of tranquility. Her stomach often a fluttering butterfly of thoughts, settles into a gentle, rhythmic breathing, mimicking the peaceful rise and fall of ocean waves. Her arms, the branches that reach for the stars in her many endeavors, now rest by her side, as weightless, as shadows, at dusk. Her fingers, dancers of creativity, unclasp their ballet of the day, finding stillness. And Luna's neck and shoulders, carries of her worldly burdens, ease into the soft embrace of her pillow and each tension not unwinding like a ball of yarn in the paws of a playful kitten. Her head, a treasury of dreams and ideas, sink deeper into the cloud of her pillow and thoughts dissolving into the ether or either, ether of relaxation. And so one night, in a quest for destruction, Luna turned to her iPhone. As she scrolled and scrolled, a quote caught her eye. It said, in the pursuit of clarity, we often miss the unexpected. The irony wasn't lost on her, and then something bizarre happened. Her screen rippled like a puddle, disturbed by a playful raindrop. Curiosity peaked, Luna touched the screen again, and this time it swallowed her hand, then her arm, and in a blink she was pulled through like spaghetti 
through a pasta maker. Luna landed with a soft thud on a surface that felt suspiciously like cloud fluff. She gazed around, her eyes wide with wonder. The planet she found herself on shimmered with an unnatural clarity. The sky was as gradient of colors that would put her Instagram filters to shame. The inhabitants moved with an eerie precision, their faces serene but eerie blank. They were like living, breathing bullet journals, every action and thought nearly categorized and executed with robotic efficiency. As Luna explored, the absurdity of absolute clarity unfolded before her. The beings communicated in bullet points, their conversations a bizarre exchange of efficient but soulless snippets. They made decisions with the swiftness of Google search, devoid of the delicious agony of choice. Any misunderstandings were as alien to them as they were to Luna. Their art was perfectly symmetrical and their music a series of harmonious but predictable notes. Their world was a carousal of predictability, spinning with the dizzying monotony of perfect order and clarity. Luna watched, a mix of amusement and sadness staring within her. Their world, while a marvel of efficiency and clarity, was a desert devoid of the oasis of creativity and emotional depth. In the planet of relentless clarity, Luna's thoughts drifted to her own beautifully muddied world. She recalled the times when her indecision seemed like a tangled ball of yarn, frustrating yet filled with potential. Like the time she procrastinated on her novel, only to stumble into a conversation with a stranger, a complete stranger at a coffee shop. And that chat sprinkled with whimsical ideas and had steered her story into enchanted and unexpected waters, birthing a plot twist that even she hadn't seen coming. All the afternoons spent aimlessly strumming her guitar, lost in thought, only to find a melody emerging from the chaos of chords, a melody that spoke more about her inner turmoil than any well-planned composition could. In these moments of confusion and delay, creativity had often bloomed like a white flower in an unexpected crack in the sidewalk, vibrant and defiant. And this planet with its rigid clarity, was like a meticulously planned garden. But Luna's world was a delightful jungle, untamed and brimming with surprises. Embraced by this newfound appreciation, Luna prepared to leave this planet of unyielding precision. As she stepped back through the portal, She carried with her a treasure, a treasure trove of revelations. Back in her apartment, Luna viewed her former quest for clarity with a playful eye. She remembered the comical moments, like when she created a spreadsheet to categorize her hobbies, a futile attempt to bring order to her passions, or 
the time she tried to schedule inspiration, marking her calendar with invent something brilliant at 3 p.m., only to find herself baking cupcakes instead. Now she saw the beauty in these absurd attempts. Each quote-unquote failure to focus was actually a step into a new adventure. Her kitchen mishaps led to impromptu dinner parties. Her photography detours captured fleeting moments of beauty that planned shoots never could. And Luna's biggest epiphany came when she revisited her half-written novel. She realized that the richness of her story came from the m- many of experiences she had gone through. Each hobby, each destruction, and or what she labeled as destruction, had woven a thread into the fabric of her own story. And with this new understanding, Luna approached her life with a lighter heart. She allowed herself to float on the waves of her interests, no longer trying to swim against them. Her music became more soulful, her cooking more adventurous, and her photography more authentic, and her writing more profound. Luna understood now that the beauty of life lay in its unpredictability. The richness of her experiences wasn't despite her lack of clarity, but because of it. She learned to dance in the rain of uncertainty, embracing each droplet as a catalyst for creativity. As Luna settled into bed that night, her mind no longer raced with the shoulds and coulds. Instead, it soared with the possibilities of what ifs, and she drifted into sleep, not with plans and strategies, but with dreams of endless potential. And now I am going to guide you through a profound relaxation that will melt any tension in your body, vibration after vibration. And the more you can relax, the more you will feel it. And then I will guide you on a journey supported by a miracle fruit to find the right perception on your life for you to really step at the very top of consciousness and from there you will relax the deepest parts of yourself beyond just body entering a state of expansiveness and fearless openness So imagine yourself lying on a soft bed of moss in the heart of Costa Rican jungle where the air is filled with the earthly sense of life and the gentle rhythm of distant drumming vibrates through the atmosphere. You can let your eyes close in their own time. And let's begin at the top of your head. Imagine a tiny raindrop landing softly on your scalp and its cool touch releasing tension. 
Visualize this droplet slowly tracing the contours of your face, relaxing each feature. Your forehead smooths out like the calm surface of a jungle lagoon, and your eyelids become as light as butterfly wings. Fluttering down too close when they are ready. And as you tune into the drum's rhythm, let it guide your attention to your neck and shoulders. Picture a playful monkey swinging from tree to tree effortlessly and smoothly and like this monkey let any tightness in your neck and shoulders swing away leaving you feeling loose and limber each beat of the drum helps to dissolve knots of stress as if they were delicate spider webs being brushed away by a gentle breeze. Moving down to your arms, imagine them as branches of a grand rainforest tree, strong yet flexible. And with each drum beat, Feel a wave of relaxation spreading from your shoulders to your fingertips like rain nourishing the forest floor. And your arms sink deeper into the mossy bed, heavy with the richness of relaxation. Focus on your chest and back. Think of your lungs as two gentle toucans rising and falling in sync with the jungle's breath. Each inhale draws in the forest vitality and each exhale releases any remnants of tension. Your back melts with the moss beneath you, supported by the earth's embrace, firm yet forgiving. And as the drumming continues, let its vibrations ripple through your abdomen and hips. Envision a lazy river winding through the jungle, its waters caressing every rock and Let the rhythm along its flow path through your core, smoothing out any tight spots and revitalizing every single cell. Now traveling down to your legs, imagine them as mighty trike, mighty tree trunks rooted deeply in the forest soil. The drum beat pulses through these roots, sending waves of relaxation from your thighs down to your calves, and finally, all the way to your feet. Feel each muscle in your legs soften and lengthen as if soaking in a warm jungle pool under a canopy of stars. 
And finally, focus on your toes. Picture a family of curious, friendly ants, each one gently marching over your feet and their tiny feet kneading away any lingering stiffness. Allow the sensation to tickle your toes, igniting a spark of lightness in your soul. And throughout this journey, whenever the drumming swells, let its vibrations cradle you. Feel the jungle's energy pulsating with life, resonating with your own being. Let this symphony of sounds, sensations, and the gentle rhythm of the drum lead you into a state of deep harmonious relaxation. And as you lie enveloped in the jungle's embrace, remember that like the ecosystem around you, your body is a marvel of interconnectedness and balance. Each part of you from the top of your head to the tips of your toes works in harmony to create the symphony of your existence. As you are chilling, I want to ask you, have you ever heard about the miracle fruit? It is the most fascinating fruit that is found in perhaps different places, but I know it from Costa Rica. And when you eat this miracle fruit, it has this remarkable ability to make sour and bitter foods taste sweet for a period of time after it's eaten and I was actually so surprised that this period of time was not a few seconds but several minutes and what is the most fascinating part of this is that the miracle fruit contains a protein called miraculine which binds to the taste buds and acts as a sweetness inducer when it comes into contact with acids. This means that after consuming this miracle fruit, even something as sour as a lemon can taste surprisingly sweet. And so what does that tell us about our perception? It tells us that we cannot trust our perception. How do you know that your perception is correct? Based on what? On a thought that describes that perception? To travel at the very top of consciousness, we must become detectives beyond the logic. The logic can never describe what really is because it can be based on wrong perception. And we can find plenty of evidence for that perception, for that perception.
And we can be so right about it logically. And still, and still, it will be so far away from the truth. See wisdom, see wisdom is knowing that the world is supportive, is supportive, and your job is to find it, is to find it. Most people, most people rather look for evidence why the world sucks, why their situation sucks, and why. Why is that that we like to look for that evidence from that kind of perception? It is when we believe that, for example, most people or some other groups of people that are not part of my group, when we believe they are bad, What does it make us? Does it, make us? it makes us superior. It makes us the good doers. It is the ultimate perception twister. It is a self-protection. Self and so, and so, top of consciousness, top of consciousness is to look with compassion and deeper understanding, deeper understanding that we are all the same mess, trying to make sense of what this is. When you reach the top, when you reach the top, nobody is lower or higher. The top is simply as flat as a pancake. In a story, there is always duality. Good and bad, good and bad. The top of consciousness, top of consciousness is as flat as a pancake. As flat as a pancake. It's what is beyond what stories, is beyond assumptions and judgments and expectations and hopes. And hopes. And what a relief. And what a relief. Just relax into that noticing, that noticing, that field, that field, beyond what is good and what is bad, what is bad, what is right and what is wrong, right and what is wrong. There is a place within you that recognizes this. Or shall I say, or shall I say a place, place without you, without you, that recognizes this? Recognizes this. You are at the tap, at the top of consciousness, top of consciousness, the pancake-like top, the pancake-like top, which is more like an open, endless, boundless field. And its quality and its quality is humility, is humility, compassion, compassion, wisdom, 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 patience, patience. It is your true nature, it is your true nature. It is home, it is home, it is home. It is recognizing, it is recognizing that all the things I don't like in another 
are the things that I secretly despise in myself. And so allow yourself to come back home for a moment to this infinite space this boundless, unbound field, unbound field, without any limits, without any limits. That connects everything that connects and everybody. Everything and everybody. Even though the word connect, Even though the word connect, is more. A little disconnecting, a little disconnecting. Because in reality there is nothing reality disconnected, is nothing so it cannot be connected. It cannot be connected. It's just boundless. It's like playing with a huge infinite play-doh. Infinite play-doh. Putting it all together. There is no space between anything else. Between anything else. That kind of boundlessness. And everything else is just an illusion. It's just an illusion. A very convincing one. Very convincing one. It's that kind that you find when you go to a magic show. You see the magician cutting a girl into two pieces. And it looks extremely disturbing. And if it's a good trick. It will be very convincing. Convincing. It will be very entertaining. It will be very entertaining. And awe inspiring. Awe inspiring. But at the end of the day it's just a trick. It's just a trick. To trick us into that separation. Into that separation. Into that belief in separation. Is now in two pieces. Two pieces. Oh no, I'm now different than the other person. I'm a little bit better. I'm a little bit better. Or a little bit worse. Or a little bit worse. Judging others is the ultimate. Is the ultimate. Self-preserving protection. Self-preserving protection. When we don't have to take responsibility. For our own insecurity, for our own actions, for our own actions, it's so much more easy to judge other people than to take action and actually change. But at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, you and me are the same. And there is no exception. No we all have the same fears, the same fears, the same concerns, the same concerns. Even though on the surface they look a little bit different, they seem to be a little different. To be a little different. And just so relax into that noticing. That standing on the top of the pancake is the place is the place you've been always looking for been always looking for And here it is and here it is It is not a place it is not a place It is a it is a recognition recognition. Recognition of your own beauty as much as of their beauty. Beyond comparison. And 
if you want to go even further, go even further. Imagine yourself melting, imagine yourself melting like a jelly, like a jelly on the top of the pancake. Until you become one with the pancake. And any separation disappears. Disappears. Just giant picnic. Just giant pancakeness. Cosmic fulfillment. Cosmic fulfillment. From which, from which, from which, wisdom, 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 and creativity, and creativity, and love. Just comes out naturally. Comes out naturally. Unexpectedly, unexpectedly. Beyond relaxation. Beyond relaxation. Beyond peace. Is, is what being with what, what, being is, with what is, is really is. Welcome to this cosmic fluff meditation. In this psychedelic like journey, you will experience the ultimate relaxation not only for your body but also for your soul the one on your left foot and also the one on your right foot and if your spirit animal is a sloth on acid you're in the right place before your finger gets too sloth like subscribe for meditations that clean up your mental mess with a bit of trippiness. All right, and we are going to enter a space of such effortlessness that it is completely unmatched, something you have never experienced. And so, just begin by finding a very comfortable place where we can dive in to this cosmic fluff in all seriousness and I want you to imagine that the whole world, the entire world is made of fluff And it starts with your feet. It starts with your soles on your feet. They are made of fluff. And your ankles are fluffy too. And all your legs are just so soft, made of fluff, that you can't even feel them. They are relaxing so deeply. So effortlessly. so effortlessly and now you're realizing now that, you're even your body, that even your body even your body even is, your made body of love. is made of fluff all just all cosmic fluff your breathing is fluffy your heart your is heart fluffy Your arms, your arm, your arms, just fluff, just fluff, all the way, all the way from the shoulders, from the shoulders, to the 
the very tips of your fingertips, just fluffy and weightless, so deeply relaxed, settling into your own fluffy nature. Deeper into the cloud 
of big fluffiness, which is so fluffy that if you find any obstacle or any challenge, it will be so easy and so effortless to move through it. It will be so easy because you will recognize it for what it is. A fluff. Even cutting through butter feels like too much effort comparing to you going through any challenge that appears. When you can see it for what it really is. Fluff. Relationships, struggles, struggles, struggles. Wolf love, wolf love, manipulation, control, control, control. Fluff, fluff, fluff. Fear about any kind of uncertainty. Uncertainty. Really very pure. One of the purest of the fluffs purest of out, there. out there, out there, out there, Maybe thoughts Maybe come thought about come comparing about yourself, yourself, to others. yourself to others, to others. Just look at Just those. Look at Just those. Look at those. Complete fluff. Complete fluff. You are comparing the worst image of yourself with the best image of them. And it's all just fluff. Because fluff cannot be compared to anything. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. And you are beyond comparable. And so settle even deeper into your fluffy being with your fluffy thoughts. Ease into, into, into the relief, the relief that there is nothing you have to try hard for. You'll move through the world, the world, the world with no resistance at all. Of what the fluff tells you sometimes in your fluffy brain. A part of that, a part of that, you're completely okay. You are completely supported. And there is nothing you need to do to deserve something. Just like you didn't have to do anything to deserve the biggest gifts that you already have. Like your heart beating, your eyes. What did you have to do to acquire your eyes? Just notice 
that only the important things are completely given. Relax deeper. Let yourself breathe. Being breathed softer. Your breathing is fluffy. Any imagination about the future or the past is also fluff. Any to-do lists about tomorrow With your wisdom, with your wisdom, with your wisdom, your openness, your openness, your openness, creative. Of no resistance, of no resistance, nothing to control, nothing to control, nothing to decide about. If you think you need to make some decisions, look at some light fluff, and your ankles are fluffy. Just notice. The world is the more world, fluffy than you thought. Only fluffy. the important things are completely given. Are just so soft, made of fluff. It's so fluffy that there is no space for anything else. So effortless. And now you're realizing that easily your body, being breathed softly. Just effortlessness. Your breathing gliding is gliding through an imagination about the future or the past. It's so so fluff. And your arms. Any to do lists about tomorrow. Open to the feeling from the shoulder. Open to see to the very tips of your fingertips. And once in a while, in the weightless and perhaps have a little fluff fight, simple, with your fluffy friends, fluffy nature for your entertainment only, and generous, and also with your, your spine is made of love, feelings, your upper back is made of love. With your wisdom, with your wisdom, your heart, your neck, neck, neck is as your openness could be. And your face, creative, pure fluff, enough, enough, enough. Your eyes, the very tips of your fingers are so relaxed, effortless, as a fluff can be, and weightless. Your nostrils, fluff, settling into your own. Your cheeks, 
just, just, just pure fluff. Pure Sinking fluff. a little deeper, deeper, deeper. And your jaw is so relaxed, fluffiness, fluffiness. That it also that turned that into fluff. Of no resistance. Of no resistance. Nothing to grain. Yep, yes, yes. Nothing to Just decide about love in your face. Your whole head. If you think you need to make some decisions, your eyes, your eyes, your eyes, fluff, fluff are so relaxed. But that's not all. The world is only that you know entire body from the very top of your head. All the way All down, so fluffy, the so there is no space for anything else. It's just pure fluff and lightness. And your joy, but also the entire world, is fluffy too. And it also turned into fluff. Just effortlessness, relax and settle deeper, gliding into this realization. That there really is nothing else but fluff. All head is just fluff. Maybe you'll wake up in the morning feeling with a thought that's open to seeing. I'm scared only that your entire body is just fluff. And once in a while, your head. Perhaps have a little fluff. Maybe. You'll meet a co-worker, a friend, who will give you that look for your entertainment. It's just fluff. It's fluffy too. Maybe you'll have some self-doubt, the biggest gift that you already have. Into this realization, or maybe, like your heart beating, you'll feel a little bit better than others. Your eyes. What did you have to do to acquire your Maybe eyes? you have some thoughts about you have some thoughts in the body. financial uncertainty. Financial did you have to get someone approval? It's just or maybe your partner will get some light be a little bit more chill. Just no just kiss. fluff. Maybe just that only the purest fluff is completely given. Maybe you'll get a bad comment on your video, relax deeper, or your post. Maybe you'll have some self-doubt. It's a pure fluff. Let yourself breathe. Maybe being breathed, just maybe. You'll feel a little bit better than others. You'll find some people being out of integrity or flaky with you. An imagination about the future or the past, financial uncertainty, is also love. The entire universe is made to do lists about tomorrow. You will not find anything else that is not fluff. Relax deeper into the cloud of big fluffiness. Present, which is so fluffy that if you find any obstacle or any challenge, it will be so easy and so effortless to move and through it. Just maybe with your you'll find some people feeling it will be so easy because you will your wisdom it for what it is. Cutting through butter feels like too much effort comparing to you in going through any challenge that appears. When you can see it for what it really is, effortless fluff, big fluffiness, which is so fluffy that if you find any obstacle or any challenge, relate. Relationships, struggles, 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 struggles,
manipulation, manipulation. control, fluffiness. Of no resistance, no resistance. Nothing to control Nothing about to any kind of uncertainty. Nothing to decide about. Very pure. One of the purest fluffs out there. If you think you need to make some decisions. is more fluffy, maybe thoughts come about comparing yourself to others, just look at those, it's so fluffy that there is no space for anything else, you are comparing the worst image of yourself with the best image of them, and it's all just fluff. Just effortlessness, effortlessness. Because, because, because gliding, gliding through love cannot be compared to anything. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. And you are open to feeling comparable. Open to seeing, open to seeing. Open to seeing. Once in a while, even deeper. Perhaps have a little fluffy fight, fluffy bee with your fluffy friends. As we wrap up, if any part of this meditation made you forget your worries, even just for a second, consider passing on that moment of peace. Maybe don't share it with your grandma, who might still be into regular sleep meditations, but I'll leave that up to you.